Hello and welcome back to my channel, I'm Gizmo and today I'm looking at three different USB-C hubs by Salon and S Global. These are small and compact and perfect for on-the-go use. So let's jump straight in. These are the three products in question. First up we have a 9-in-1 USB-C hub, second we have a 8-in-1 hub and finally we have a 4-port USB-C hub. So let's take a closer look at each one and I'll begin with the 9-in-1 USB-C hub. So this is the 9-in-1 USB-C hub from Salor and S Global. The actual model number is SEUC0304. I'll link all the details in the video description below. Now this is a nice and compact hub. It's got a matte finish and the body is all metal. It feels really sturdy and looks really good. It has a non-removable type C cable attached, which is approximately 24 centimeters in length. Now this looks like a really high end and a premium product. It would easily fit in with MacBooks and other similar laptops. Let's take a closer look at the ports. So on the front, you have two HDMI ports, one USB type A 3.0 port and one USB type C power delivery port, which supports up to 100 watts. Now, HDMI port number one supports 4K at 60Hz or 4K at 30Hz and HDMI port number two only supports 4K at 30Hz. On the rear, you have two USB type A ports. These are USB 2.0 and you have a micro SD card and a regular sized SD card slot. And finally, on the side, you have a display port, which supports 4K at 60 Hertz or 4K at 30 Hertz. Now the source must support display port version 1.2 or 1.4 respectively. Now, one thing you may have noticed is that on the box, on the front, it says it's compatible with the new MacBook. And next to that, it's got a little logo and it says Gigabit Ethernet. However, this hub doesn't actually have an Ethernet port. So I'm assuming this is perhaps a mishap with the packaging. So this is a really nice and handy hub. It's perfect for anyone looking for something on the go. It would easily fit into your bag. It's small and light and it has all the ports you would need on a regular basis with the exception of an ethernet port. Now that's not particularly an issue for me since when I'm using my laptop via a work Windows laptop or a MacBook Pro, I'm always connected by Wi-Fi instead of ethernet. However, if ethernet connection is something that's crucial for you, then this may not be the hub for you. Here's what the hub looks like when it's connected to a Windows laptop, a MacBook and an iPad Pro. Now you can connect up to three displays to the hub. However, since Apple doesn't support MST or multi-stream transport, the extended desktop option only works on Windows and not on Macs. On a Mac, it will simply mirror all the displays. So next we have the 8-in-1 USB-C hub. Now this comes in a slightly more generic cardboard style box and the actual hub itself looks almost physically identical to the 9-in-1 hub, although this one is slightly wider. Now the model number of this is SEUC0513. Again, this is also a nice and compact hub. It has the same matte finish and the body is also all metal. It feels really sturdy again and it looks well made. This also has a non-removable Type-C cable attached, which is approximately 24 centimeters in length. In terms of ports, on the front you have two USB-A ports. These are USB 2.0 and you have a USB Type-C port which is labelled USB 2.0 and you have a USB-C power delivery port which supports 100 watts. And on the rear, you have one display port which supports 4K at 60 Hz and two HDMI ports. Port number one supports 4K at 60 Hz and port number two supports 4K at 30 Hz. And finally, on the side, you have a VGA port, which to be honest, is practically pointless in 2023. This hub is really well made and it looks good. However, I feel it's missing a vital thing that majority of people would want and that's an SD card slot. 
This hub is no doubt aimed at people on the go. It's small and portable to carry around. It's perfect for laptops and iPads. As a content creator, this would come in handy to transfer content from my camera to my iPad, except it lacks an SD card slot. Personally, I would lose the VGA port and have an SD card slot there instead. Here's what the hub looks like connected to a Windows laptop, a MacBook Pro and also an iPad Pro. And here is the hub side by side with the 9-in-1 hub. They look very similar in size and finish, but the 9-in-1 hub is slightly narrower and has curved sides. And finally, we have the 4-port USB-C hub. Again, this also comes in a generic style cardboard packaging. This is basically a 4-port USB Type-C hub. It's got 4 Type-C 3.1 ports. It's very slim and it feels really solid to hold. It's got a slightly darker grey bluish finish compared to the other two hubs. This also has a slightly longer fixed Type-C cable which is approximately 30 centimeters in length. The model number of this hub is SEUC4303. This is small, light and compact this actually looks like a really essential piece of kit it supports usb 3.1 and is backwards compatible with usb 3.0 2.0 and 1.1 however it doesn't support any charging protocols It's suitable for mostly data and not for anything like fast charging it can output a maximum of 5 volts at 9 amps So here are all three hubs side by side, the 9-in-1 hub, the 8-in-1 hub and the 4-port hub. Let me know in the comments which you would have or perhaps what you would change. Personally, I'll probably be sticking to the 9-in-1 hub as it has the SD card slot, a decent number of USB ports as well as 100 watt fast charging port. Basically, it has all the ports that are more likely to use on a daily basis. If you want to learn more about any of these hubs or want to pick one up, I'll leave their relevant links in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching. Leave any questions or comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one.